Hello there, I'm Tanya Windegger and I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. My question for you today is, how much novelty do you have in your day? Now that is something very tricky, I know when you have PTSD, if you're like me, I just, and anything that I can do on a consistent basis without changes makes things so predictable and the more predictable things are, the more safe I feel. So if I constantly shop at the same shop, get the same um, foods, in park at the same spot, then, then that's kind of a sense of security. And that's not just for people with PTSD. I know when, when I sit in lectures, you notice by about week three, people tend to sit in pretty much the same spot every time. And now, even knowing there's no set layout, you know, everyone can sit wherever they want, but people, there, there tends to be that thing that people want to keep things the same. Well, I want you to challenge this because novelty, I think, is, is key to have some more joy, even knowing it, it can create a little bit of fear as well. Like, in, I mean, the shopping centre is a very easy example. I mean, I, generally I go to the same shopping centre, but if I, for some reason, would have to go and shop at a different shop, my anxiety would go up with it straight away. I haven't been there for a while, you know, and all these worries and things come on to the point that, you know, I know close to where I work, the new shopping centre opened. I still haven't been there <laughs> to this day, to be honest. <laughs> but the other day on the way home, I thought I needed to stop in to get some porridge so I could have porridge the next morning. And as I was sitting in a car driving home, you know, it's only, I conveniently missed the turn off. So I didn't end up actually going there. So that's how good I am at avoiding um, novelty at times. But what I want you to be is become really aware of those kind of things. Like even if you if you have a habit that you go for a walk every morning, if you do the exact same walk every morning, maybe challenge yourself that once a week you in drive somewhere and go walking in a different place. If you go fishing in the same spot every time, go somewhere else. If you um, if you cook similar meals all the time, maybe once a week, challenge yourself, go through a cookbook and cook something that you normally wouldn't cook. And you will notice that, you know, even though it, it, it can be a stretch for us, especially because this can kind of get our fear up a little bit, but at the same time, it can create um, joy as well, and, and novelty is, is a challenge. It, it gives you some enthusiasm, it gives your life a bit of a spark again, you know, experiencing something, something slightly different to the norm. And that, what that does is also strengthens your pathways, because if you keep doing it and you realise, hey, that's not, that wasn't that bad, it was actually fun being somewhere different, doing something different. And if you keep doing that, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And you can use that then in, in different uh, settings for yourself as well, to challenge yourself every now and then and, and step outside that comfort zone. So have a think about it. And I, I truly believe, and as I said, I do fail fail it or fail. I don't like to use the word fail but you know I, I, I'm very good at avoiding challenges myself but I'm very aware of that and I constantly check in with myself you know are you not doing this because of fear or are you tr is there a true reason why you, why you can't do something different at the moment and if it's fear I try to really get myself to do it because I don't want my life to be run by fear. I want to make my own choices. I want to be very intentional what I'm going to do today and how I can create something. You know, what, what can I be enthusiastic about today? You know, what, what could it be that, that I do different maybe or who could I um, reach out to or no, any, anything that you can imagine just to get that little bit of spark into your life again. That's my wish for you. Bye for now.